The Jewish Seder, Seder meaning order, the Jewish people attend every year, is probably the most celebrated of all holidays among the Jewish people. And the Seder, the order of service, is the exact same thing that took place some 2,000 years ago with Jesus and his apostles. It hasn't changed through the years. The Jewish people use a book called Haggadah, the Passover Haggadah. It tells the story, Haggadah meaning to show or to tell, telling the story of the Passover. There are two elements or things in the Passover that are preeminent in what takes place in the evening. The first thing is the cup of wine that each of us will have, and there are actually four cups of juice that all of us will partake of. They have names. They are titled from Exodus chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. And the I wills of that passage, the I wills are this. It says, Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. The first cup, sanctification, to bring out, to separate. The second cup comes from verse six of that passage, where it says, and I will rid you out of their bondage. The cup of deliverance. They have been ridden of the bondage of the Egyptians. But the most important cups, at least from a Bible believer, a Christian's perspective, is the third cup, and the fourth cup. They take place after the meal. The third cup is based on the third I will, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm. The third cup is the cup of redemption. Right after the meal. It was that cup that Jesus lifted up and said, this is my blood. And the symbolism was striking as he would have picked up that third cup, the cup of redemption, and said, this symbolizes, in essence, my blood, which is shed for the remission of sins. Striking, unquestionably, to those Jewish followers that were sitting around that table. The fourth cup comes from the two I wills of verse seven, where it says, I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God. The cup of acceptance. I will accept you, you will accept me. I will take you as my people, you will take me as your God. That cup, Jesus said, he would not drink of in the gospel account in Matthew chapter 26. I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. What he was saying, I cannot drink the fourth cup. Third cup, yes because I will die in a few short hours for your redemption. But the fourth cup has to wait till the kingdom. What brings in the kingdom? You accept me as your Messiah, and I accept you as my people. I will take you unto me as a people. You will take me as your God. And again, the symbolism that Jesus was sharing was striking and I have no question spoke to the hearts of those Jewish followers sitting at the table with him as he communicated that they were very, very aware of what those cups represented. The other item in the table that is very important takes place at the beginning of the service, the matzah bag. Now this was introduced on the table sometime after 70 AD. We know that for a fact. And the father of the home, the one who is leading the Seder, will pull out of this tri-apartment, compartment bag, the middle board of matzah. This piece will be broken. The larger part will then be taken and wrapped in a linen napkin or sometimes a special bag called an afikoman bag. This becomes the afikoman. This will be hid somewhere in the home, and after the meal, the children present will go look for it. The child who brings it back will get a gift, a valuable gift, a very desirable gift. The Jewish people are divided on what this represents. 
There are all kinds of explanations for this. I would suggest to you, I would submit to you, that what this speaks of is that the God of Israel, we know from the scriptures, is one God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Deuteronomy 6.4. But the Bible tells us that God is a triune God. One God manifested in three persons. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You never take out the middle board of matzah, nor the bottom board of matzah. It's always the middle board of matzah out of this one bag. It wasn't the Father, it wasn't the Holy Spirit who came to earth and died for our sins. It was the Son, the Messiah, the Redeemer. And this depicts exactly what the Bible records, Isaiah 53, for example, and history records also that the Son of God, the Messiah, stepped out of eternity, clothed himself in humanity, was broken off for the sins of the world, was buried in a uh, burial garment, put away, and brought back from the dead through the resurrection. Just like this is brought back after it's hidden somewhere, and the child that finds it gets a gift. So we are told those of us who find the Messiah Jesus, Jew or Gentile, doesn't matter. We get a very valuable gift also. Yes, the wages of sin is death, we are told, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus the Messiah. This table, the Passover table, what the Jewish people do every year is one of the best presentations, illustrations of Jesus and what he has done for us in his death, burial, and resurrection. And when you find him, you get life everlasting. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606.